goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Because we're in an age of feelings or whatever. Feelings. And feelings. I feel like right. it, it, it might be that time now. Right now, it might be the time. Oh, oh. I think it is. I think it is. I like this switch. I, I, I like this switch. We'll Let's build up it. to it. So Let's get it. Um, Let's but get it. In the age of feelings, let me first say Looking this. At the docket, in the age of feelings. Time. In the age of feelings, I feel like this. Fuck how you feel. It's time for the good and fuckery. All right. <laughs> good. Let's go, baby. Fuckery. All right. All right. Um, in episode 38, good and fuckery, this edition or whatever, um, it's actually pretty, a lot of good or whatever. Um, okay. And a couple of other things. But um, first of all, I want to put out there, a hey, I seen Black Widow and Suicide Squad. They were good movies. I would okay. not bring my kid to see Suicide Squad. Why not? Okay. It's just not a movie for kids. It's gotcha. just not. It never. It was never a comic book for kids. I mean, they got suicide in the name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is it good it's or just, is it better than the original? Yeah, it's okay. definitely it's better than the original. Okay. I think it's I think okay. it's better than the original because I think the main. Um, conflict or whatever is actually way more comic book related gotcha. or whatever mm-hmm. and I was not expecting I was not expecting the main problem in this movie or any movie I thought it was, it's one of those comic book things that you were like ain't no way nobody's gonna put this in a movie this is too goofy to put this in a movie or whatever mm-hmm. I'm Kinda all for like, goofy like, so I'm, you got me intrigued now Kind of, kind of like a, a gun-toting space raccoon or whatever, like Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, keep in mind, James mm-hmm. Gunn is the one that did Gu- Guardians of the Galaxy. That is so a lot. you would like, and then they got Idris Elba in, it, pretty much. Yeah, I- Idris Elba is Bloodsport, and he went to jail for putting a kryptonite bullet in Superman. <laughs> so you got my attention. All right, there you go. And um, Amanda Wilder, uh, that black lady is evil. She is evil, like political evil, like evil. I don't care about collateral damage. Same lady, die. yeah. Same person. Yeah, Amanda? same lady. Okay, same lady. Evil, evil. But yeah. Okay. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad got some good fuckery in it. Has some. So I'm gonna have to go watch fuckery. it, and then we might have to come talk about it. Mm-hmm. And and um, black Black Widow. If you just look at it like an action movie, now just I, I've, I've seen that. I, yeah. If you just look at it like an action movie, it's pretty cool. It, like, it, don't it's go the, in looking for too much history. It, it too much. Be, yeah. It's like you you do get a uh you get a little glimpse of what they might be setting up for the future, but just go at it as a regular action movie and you'll enjoy it. Make sure you stay out of the uh, end credits as always. Mm-hmm. Good stuff yeah. there. Yeah. Now, um, Idris Elba did do a great job in Suicide Squad, and um, earlier he tweeted a, a realistic rendering um, picture of Knuckles' fist from Sonic the Hedgehog, and then Sonic the Hedgehog retweeted it on Twitter. What? So, um, okay. Sonic, the Sonic movie, uh, Sonic movie two is coming out, and um, I'm thinking Idris Elba is going to play the voice of Knuckles. Hey, here we go. Oh, which shit. kind of fits. <laughs> yeah, red. I can see him being um, in the kidna. Yeah, a red dreadlock, a kidna. A kidna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm I'll for buy it. it. <laughs> I'll buy it. Mm-hmm. They got um, what they, they had um, Jim Carrey as freaking Doctor Robotnik. This is true. Mm-hmm. At this point, we can roll with it. Pretty much anything they give us. Yeah, pretty much, man. I don't know. I, I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog origin story. Been they change it every time a game come out, and every time a cartoon come out, and every time a movie come out. There's not one straight canon storyline for Sonic the Hedgehog at all. But he's eh, a complicated those... hedgehog, and no one understands him but his hedgehog Sonic. Shut your mouth. 
even though I think he's like the only hedgehog in the freaking series. This is true. Yeah. Most but, of well, no, it's a couple of them on the little cartoon, but they're not yeah. prominent. It's pretty not much prevalent. Knuckles and uh, what's the little girl? Uh, Rose. Yeah. Amy Rose. Yeah. With the hammer. Yeah. She like yeah, the yeah, yeah. Harley Quinn hedgehog or whatever. Yeah. And I think about uncle the one, I think on the cartoon he had like an uncle or something. But right. yeah. Right, right, right. My, Ventress uh, Alpha is going to be a, a red dreadlock echidna, uh, allegedly. Okay. Because he tweeted. <laughs> so, I'm going to take it. Let's run with it. Hell, let's be controversial. Hey, run for it. Run for it. He said run with it. And then it's Sonic the Hedgehog. So, hey. Run with it. Bars. <laughs> but, um, all right. Next one. Um, Angela Bassett make history as the highest paid woman of color on television. Yeah, a little bit. Let's go, I, Queen I, Angie. Angela Bassett is also the first person I thought of when I thought of Storm being in an action movie. Like, I mm -hmm. when when I was thinking about when when X Men first came out as a cartoon, I was I already thought you know Patrick Stewart should be Professor X. Period. Right. It's no one else, but Angela Bassett. I like that was like the first person I picked for like Storm. She just got that aura about her, but she's already a Marvel. I could have seen that if in, if in Black Panther, she, if she had a if they had a quarter when she was a little bit young. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I would have like, worked when with I, it. Yep. When I was a teenager in X like when the X Men first came out. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I'm with but, you. Um, yeah, um, and. Uh, they say Viola Davis, who is also Amanda Wilder on Suicide Squad, was also spotlighted as well. She was making two hundred. Let's go, Queens. Get that bread. As an episode, um, and she was closing in at four hundred fifty k. Get all Along the money, her. Queens. Get all of mm -hmm. it. All of it. Oh, um, love it. Love it. Love it. Love next, it. Let's keep kicking it. Next one of our queens, uh, Rosario Dawson is playing Catwoman in this Batman podcast, pretty much. So I can see that. I can see it. I, I, yeah. I'll take her. Yeah, hey, I wasn't a fan on, of the Halle Berry Superman. version, I'll be honest. I don't think I, I didn't mind Michelle fight for too bad. She won't too bad to me. But, yeah, I don't think many people were or whatever. Yeah. The, you know what? The sad thing about Halle Berry is, right, that she became such a household name that it became a gimmick you know what i'm saying so anything now that she comes on it looks like a cash grab from that studio or whatever mm -hmm. I now, got you, you know what i'm saying after that Oscar like, especially like with um i think what really showed that was her as storm in the x-men because Halle berry just She's not the first pick that I picked for Storm. Period. That's real. That's real. Like there's no. I like. I can't. Now like, I can't tell you off the top of my head. Off of uh, other than Angela Bassett or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that versed with actors and actresses as other people are. But Halle Berry was not. It, Halle Berry just seems like some white exec was somewhere. It was like, hey, we need a black actor. Like a like a Halle Berry. And I was, you know what I'm saying, being that, <laughs> <laughs> being that there's somebody that every white person might know. Like a Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. Let's get yeah. Halle Berry. I feel like that's how it happened. Not it's the, possible. They not wanted to pick up black actress, but they, they didn't want her to be too black. They wanted, to, wanted her to have crossover appeal. So they didn't appeal mm -hmm. to the one wider range people. There you go. Mm -hmm. so they wanted to you know, people in the had not to come too much conflict because you know back then trying to work that skin tone into the action movies like the, um, the Marvel movies and stuff like that, DC movies was a kind of a problem. But mm -hmm. now it's the everyday thing. That's real. Mm -hmm. But um, before we move on, just want to throw a movie out there. Movie, um, yeah, I want to see a good movie. Go watch Gunpowder Milkshake. That's Gunpowder Milkshake on Netflix. Great movie. Great, great movie. Gun I think I've seen that. Sounds very I, valid. It sounds like it sounds like an anime. 
That's what it sounds like. It got yeah. one of those yeah. If you ever seen like people, definitely you ever not something from this country. Dude, you know, Angela Bass is in that movie as well. Um, it's a great movie, it's a great action movie. Great, 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 great movie. Great All movie. right, from start to me check it end. out. Yes, gun bottom milk show, y'all. The, the queen do they the queens do they thing and let me say yes. Angela Bass they got two hammers and she put them two hammers to use not two pistols two like carpentry hammers like two hammers and so she out and here she, Briz Rothstein and all she what she, <laughs> all right boy, boy, all right. boy. she did some work with them right she did some work with them two hammers boy. Respect, respect to the queen. I'm saying, so I like Check it, the though. movie out. And she got gun powerful arms, milk. so I know that's some that's some torque coming with that. She gonna she, yeah. she, she, she gonna split a coke another two. Man, Angela yeah. Bassett looked like Believe she could knock out knock out a couple of people and seen them on arms. Yeah, right. She got guns. <laughs> <laughs> the biceps and the forearms, man. That 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 hook game is gonna be mean. Mm. Mean shoulder. Mean shoulders. You stupid as hell for that. <laughs> mean shoulders. I ain't say nothing about knees this time, so hey. Not yet. Until now. Until now. But anyway. All right. So, good news, y'all, especially in the music industry. Good news. Um, Talib Kweli confirmed um, that he just got off. To, uh, he, he just got off because this is definitely not, I'm not right beside Talib Kweli, of course, but he was, um, he was talking to DJ Basio from De La Soul and they got their masters. They got all their rights to the masters. Um, and I mean, you know, they've been fighting for this since the nineties, the nineties. Yeah, this has been like 30 years, damn near Big fact. or whatever. And, um, yeah, they finally got it back. Um, and I knew it was real when I saw this scene from Teen Titans Go when it was them and De La Soul and they fought this monster for their music. Like, they literally showed, like, it seemed like it happened at the same time. Like, I feel like De La Soul knew that was going to happen and they just dropped the cartoon along with it. But yeah, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shoot, Tali Kweli said they got the masters back. Then I scrolled up. Oh, shoot, it's De La Soul and Robin? <laughs> Cyborg? That's how they got their music back? All right, news at eleven. <laughs> mm-hmm. Once you fight for your music on a cartoon, man, you might just get your music back. I you guess just so. get, your music back. get y'all guess a cartoon, so. y'all, or keep trashing your label <laughs> until they got no choice or whatever. Or that people with Noriega, De La Soul. I mean, a couple of other rappers and artists, they all said Tommy Boy was trash anyway. So, yeah. Um, more music news. Um, the late, uh, late great rapper Shock G is uh, to be honored by the city of Oakland. Right on. Uh, right on. Pretty respect, much. Respect to the, uh, the whole underground and respect to Shock G and his family, man. Absolutely, man. That's mm-hmm. nice, Shock G, the one that put the sad name in your pain. Never know what's up, love. How you doing? Well, I've been hanging, hanging, trying to do something. Yeah, we're hanging, 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 we are hanging we are and then you on going around putting satin in people um in women's panties or whatever. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out how he did that. Whatever. Did he have a meal or like a, a I guess he was, I guess he was a tailor, man. You know what he was doing. Shock G has many of talents. May he rest in peace. It's the same dude that said he once made love in a Burger King bathroom, man. So you know he was getting it how he lived. Yeah, I did that before. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't never hit a Burger King. White Castle, though. It was on purpose, though. Just so I can say I did that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Come on, girl. Let me live out this dream real quick. Doc G is inspiring us go. all <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to live our best life out here in these streets. Indeed. In these Burger King 
the streets. Shock G, inspiration to all. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell that story one day, but it was between McDonald's and Burger King, and I was like, you know what, McDonald's it wasn't in the song. Burger King was. Burger King it is. Man, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't. And I think I would probably pick Burger King over McDonald's anyway because I've never been to a bathroom at McDonald's that felt healthy. But, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Back to the good and fucker. Back <laughs> to life. Back to reality. <laughs> As soon as you wake up in the morning, that's what it is. Back to life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So um Method Man is launching a comic series in his first ever NFT, and it's called To Cow World. Okay. Uh, Method Man, he's always been into comic books. It's probably the reason why he chose Method Man as his name. Or whatever he got an actual uh marvel podcast already that like runs weekly or whatever so yeah. he's getting in an nft game by um with his love of comic books mm. um uh and they got a little they ain't really put too much about when they're gonna drop but they say the first installment of the rapper's knowledge series is part one the origin and it features original characters animation and artwork apparel and unreleased music available so it just seems like another full package deal from from method man salute i love meth so I, i'm all about it method I'm man if if he's you look up mc if if you i think he's everybody's favorite between him and ghostface pretty much yeah um or ray but he's yeah but method man is like my favorite rapper if you look up like he was the reason why I wanted to rap, like mm. pretty much. Like when I mean, first, I never knew that about like, you, Pat. Okay, like he's always been my favorite rapper. Like he, like you look if you look up MC in the dictionary, there's certain rappers that should be up there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like Jay Z should be up there. And I think Method Man and Red Man is like the perfect, you know, description of what a a, a, a straight up MC would be <clears throat> pretty much. And um, along with that, another person I would put up there because um, of past events last week, uh, Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. So I'm going to end the good and fuckery with this. Um, they did so good last week because we're going to talk bro. about it. They did Man, so good last bro. week that the city of Yonkers gave them the key to the city. 